Hello and welcome to our series of short little videos to show you things that you can do when you're analyzing Likert scale data using Excel. In our last video, we showed how to use the count ifs and pull down menus using the data validation feature of Excel. And now we're going to take it one step further and show you how to make interactive charts for comparing subgroups graphically. We're going to make our pull down menus from these lists. These are the two schools that we have, the grades and the gender. And I put them here as lists where we, we could write them in the data validation box. But I want to show you how to do it as lists because you may have 100 schools that you want to do this with. So these are our lists for the pull down menus. Let's go to data, the data tab. Here's data validation. And we're going to make put our pull down menu here for starters. So we want list. And then instead of writing in here, my first list is the schools. I'm just going to choose this. And see, so it refers to that cell right there from M1 to M3. And I included the word school in my list. So when I choose it, it labels this box for me. So I know that's where my school list is. Under it, I'm going to put my grades. So list, click in here and just choose this. It writes it for me. And then I'll choose grades so that the cell is labeled. And then same thing here, but data validation, list, click in here. And and select gender, and there you go. So these will be the pull down menus for the chart I'm going to make. So we're going to graph Q1, and these are going to be where people can see them, but we're going to hide our computations with the chart. So we need to put it somewhere like over here. So Q1, so I know which one I'm doing, and then I need I strongly agree agree for my formula neutral disagree shoot thought I could get strongly disagree with it but it wasn't there okay so I copy and paste those so I don't mess up by typing them wrong now I need my count ifs formula here for Q1 and this is the tedious part. We can pretend like it's fun. Count ifs. Uh, we need count if the school, this data I happen to know goes down to 190. So I'm just going to type it there rather than drag all the way down to there and put dollar signs on it to freeze the range from A1 to A190. And what do we want to match? We want to match whatever's in this pull down menu box and put dollar signs on it, comma. The next thing we want is grade and we go down to 190. Just type it in if you know where your data ends. Put your dollar signs on. And what do we want to match? We're in the grade, so we want to match that. Dollar signs on it. comma, gender, and dollar signs. Then I have to change that 4 to 190, dollar sign. Stay with me. This is the only super boring part, 190, comma. We're matching that, and that gets a dollar sign too. And now we have Okay, so there we've matched all the variables. Now we've got to match strongly agree over here in column D. Up here, comma, from, get my dollar signs, D1 to 190, get the dollar sign. There is a keystroke way to get those dollar signs. You can Google it and see. 
Okay, and what do we want to match? We want to match this. We're going to get zeros until we choose something, so let's see. They all have to be chosen. There you go. And let's format these a little bit. Go to Home, Center them, and open that up. Now this, and we want to graph percents, so let's copy this and compute percents. That over the sum of these. And we need dollar signs on those, it's easier up here. Can pull that down. It adds to one, so that means we didn't mess it up, most likely, and make it percents. Okay, so this is what we're going to graph. We should be able to copy all of this to make our second graph. And let's put it over here. And we're going to have to fix the formulas a little bit, probably. We don't want to pull over here from these pull down menus. But if we slide these over here, it rewrites the formula for over here to pull from these. So now pull this down. Let's check it. Okay, now we're pulling from here. So let's pull this down. And let's make sure that these are pulling from here. Oh, they're not because we put dollar signs on the sum over there. So we need to slide this over to here and now pull this down. And now let's check and make sure. Okay, these percents are being computed from this set over here. And these, just check another one. Okay, they're pulling from here, here, and these columns over here, which they should be. Okay, now we're going to make our side-by-side -side interactive charts. So select the percents over here, go to Insert, Recommended Charts, let's use a bar chart, and we could fancy it up, but that'll be for a different video. Um, yeah, there's a lot of ways I've fixed this up to look better. But for now, we're just going to put that there and then select this, insert recommended charts, get a similar looking chart, put it here, and hide everything except for the pull down menus and give them enough room to pull down. And I don't want that Q1 showing. Let me just delete it. Now watch what you can do. This is Washington's 7th graders, 7th grade males compared to Lincoln's 6th grade males. Let's change this to 7th. Oh, look at the data there. The females, 7th grade females compared to 7th grade females. And see, this gives you a way to graph interactively I'm going to show you how to make a dynamic title for the charts. Choose a cell and you're going to make the title in the cell equals, we'll say Q1, and then the ampersand, which is above the 7, quote, space, quote, ampersand, the school, click on it so it'll change when the school name changes, and then and. And let's put quote space grade space quote and then whatever's whoops forgot my and and whatever's here and quote space quote and this 
and you might want to <laughs> write it differently however you want to write it but you pull it together out of these dynamic characters so that it will change see if we change this to Lincoln that changes to Lincoln if we change this to a different grade that changes and then if you click in here where the title is you you select the title but go up here in the bar it has to be done up here in the bar equals and then click in the cell where you've created the title and then it will be the title of the chart and then as you change your title will change you can put the N in there if you want to add a formula that computes the N you could have the N in the title you might you probably write this different than I showed you but I just wanted you to know how to do it it's got to go in a cell and then you've got to put the formula up here in this bar you can't put it down here because it won't work you have to put equal and then click in the cell where, the, where you've got the formula written then if you don't want it to show like maybe you're going to use this either put it off the page or you can use the white ink select it and turn the ink white and then nobody will see it see this looks like magic now 